Hey, good morning, guys. I'm in Raleigh. Here for the um, Radio 1 25th Anniversary Women's Empowerment Event. So rolling. Get ready to go have some brunch. Hope it's going to be good. Because I'm hungry. Um, yeah, so I'm here. I'll be here all day today. I mean, they have the breakfast now. Yeah, we're going to start. Doors open, I think, like 11, 10, 11. Say hi. Uh, oh, this one. Hi. <laughs> You're live. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, my people. It's a kid. <laughs> my security. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to let nothing happen to me. Ain't nothing happen. Ain't nothing going to happen. You did. Ain't nothing happen. Guns, right? Ain't going to let nothing happen to me. Hey. I'm covered. See, I, I got all these. I'm covered. Care. Like I got it. all these good prayer warriors out here and everybody. Hey, that's a key right there. No, that's real. That is real. Prayer warriors. Let me tell you something. I'm, to tell you. I'm all the way prayed up. Listen, y'all. God is good. Listen, y'all. God is good. I'm Marcus Jackson. Well, hey there, CB. Looking this is the man. This is the man that uh, made sure I was on this flight. <laughs> made sure. Always make sure I'm where I need to be. Anyway, I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. I've been working too hard. I've been trying to get my wine cellar open. So, uh oh, somebody's saying they feet hurt. Why are your feet hurt? Listen. <laughs> I got to put on heels later. Been, At least I'm casual now. He's been some th through some things. I don't know what I've been through. You, you don't know my story. Uh -huh. You don't know the child I've been through. Okay, it's too early. It's too early. Okay, I ain't fooling with him. Um, all right, you guys, I just want to say hi. I love you guys. Um, about to go have some brunch and um, I'll check it with you guys later. All right, love you. Money's black is just a syndication. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I love walking amongst the sisters. I see a couple of white children in here walking on the corner. Yeah, I'm really Shit, do I talk? Yeah, yeah. Poor little lead, hello, leader. Like, oh my god, because they put me on a little scooter to get over here. Girl, I was just ramming people in the legs. Oh, Lord, I love that he's close, like somebody gonna attack me. In this so cute, I love security. I sleep with all of them. Girl, I sleep with all my chauffeurs and, you know, my. Well, not my hairstylist, you know, that we get it. Oh, Lord. No, now, it's the truth, I haven't had sex in 20 minutes. But I oh, Lord, somebody's like, mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, know I wasn't gonna come down here and go, yo, give an honor to God who's the head of the house. <laughs> hey, now, fool, look at y'all on the cameras. Look at how beautiful. Let me stop and be serious for two seconds. Yeah, somebody went one, two. Um, first of all, I want to thank you guys for having me down here. I was on vacation. I ran off to Bali for seven nights because I'm working on my second book. And uh, didn't get shit written, but <laughs> I was in the water, boogie board. Except for the lifeguard. Anyway, I pretended I was drowning. I said, help! Help! <laughs> oh my God, I love myself. I'm funny, I'm pretty, I'm talented. Yeah! Yeah, I tell them I'm rich. Don't ask me for the money. Oh, no. <laughs> I had to drink so much coffee to get up, you know? Horrible flight. I couldn't get comfortable. And the little flight attendant knew me from Fresh Prince. She lost her mind. I finally, I said, look, little girl. I said, little girl. I'm trying to go sit in the I know I'm a mess. Look at her. She's like, damn. Yeah. Oh, you know how good it feels not to care what people think about you? Yes. Oh my God. 
Yes, Lord, let me tell you, I don't care about none of it. I'm 62, I say anything I want. Amen. <sighs> Empowering women. I went to hear Kamala speak not too long ago. I want her to get louder. She was like, it's time to tell the truth. I said, oh, honey. It's time. I take it out. Oh, don't, worry. don't worry, I'm gonna give her some lessons. I was telling, you know, Maxine Waters and I from the same hometown. Um, and I, I don't know how many of y'all saw my Breakfast Club interview? And if you didn't, I want you to watch it, because I'm going to tell you, it was my greatest hour. No, I watched that interview, I was riveted. Because, I, now listen, I had no fear in me. I had just spoken to 30,000 people around the country, including the people at Flint. The children at Parkland. See, I'm not trying. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all I don't need to sell books. I don't need to sell books. I wrote it for you. I gave you my molestation. I gave you my mental illness. I gave you my sex addiction. Oh my God. But I got I did. I gave you everything. And why is that, Miss Lewis? Because I want you to know that no matter what, you can come through the fire. I did it, and so can you. And I want, you know, this is an intimate setting. There's going to be a lot of people out there today. I'm basically going to make them laugh. I'm going to empower them. But I want to tell you that if you ain't told nobody, you tell. You shout her or his name from the mountaintop. See, I confronted the past of my church who amen. molested me. Oh, amen. Come on. Uh -huh. Amen. You hear me talking? Amen. I can make you laugh all day, but like Beyonce, I came to slay. <laughs> People ask me, Jennifer, why you play everybody's mama? I said, bitch, for that kind of money, I'll play the daddy. <laughs> you gotta love me. Ain't nothing you can do. She stand up, I'm time to shut up. All right, listen. I want you to do me a favor. And I mean this from my heart. First of all, I want you to get the book now. The Audible, I narrated, and y'all know how you love my voice. <laughs> so, get the Audible or just go to Amazon, get the paperback for $10. Read the book. That book almost killed me, telling all my secrets. But see, we are as sick as our secrets. <laughs> You tell somebody if you were touched inappropriately. You tell somebody what's going on. The suicide rate has shot up since this lunatic has been in the White House. There's so many hate crimes. There's so much hate going around. And I just got up back from around the world. They don't like Americans right now. They mad at us. So act like you know. And do me a favor, and then I'm going to sit down. Because I love y'all. I told Michelle Obama, I said, black people don't like me, but he loved me. That's right. That's right. And I told her, I told her to put me on the front line on um, Obama's first campaign. And I campaigned for him. So, do me a favor. You, you follow me on Instagram. You hear all those political songs. Don't leave me on the front line by myself. Amen. That's right. That's right. So, that's it. I'm going to have to fool out there today. <laughs> but I wanted to come and say hello to you ladies. I have a lot of love and compassion for what we're doing. Empowering women. Men had their turn. They acted up. 
And they, they just little boys with toys, and they're not careful. Okay? So, Godspeed, and forgive me for cussing so much. Yeah. <laughs>